Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you the secret to making a refreshing watermelon juice. Amigos, you're gonna need a big watermelon, but if you have those tiny little sweet ones, that will also work. It really doesn't matter the size of your watermelon, it's the technique that you're gonna be using to achieve a delicious, refreshing juice, okay? So let's start off by slicing this watermelon. And one of the things that you wanna look for when you're picking your watermelon is that you have a little bit of a yellow spot here. Tap it. If you hear the little hollowness, that's gonna work. But if it feels mushy on the outside, it might work. It might just work for this recipe. So let's find out how sweet this watermelon is. Slice the ends. And I'm only going to be using half of the portion of this watermelon for the juice that we're making today because my kids love to have watermelon with tahini and we chop it up into little cubes and it goes straight into our freezer and I can already tell by the look of this watermelon that it's going to be a sweet one. So let me go ahead and divide the parts that I'm going to use for the kids frozen treats and the one we're going to be making for our juice. Oh my goodness. You guys, you guys ready for this? Here we go. Sweetness. Now you want to be very careful, but you want to slice around your watermelon, unless you have those really cute Japanese watermelons that are uh, squared, which are adorable. They're boutique watermelon. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. So just continue to slice around your watermelon. And when you're slicing your watermelon, you want to make sure to remove uh, all the greenish white part, okay? But for those of you that are cleansing your system, if you have a little bit of that white part in here, it's gonna be okay, but we want this super sweet and we want everybody to just be happy. We don't want any bitterness. My mother actually uses the green part. She puts a little bit of lime, a little bit of chili. You can use tahini and she enjoys it. I don't mean to scare you guys, but I also watched her boiling it to make, um, I think some type of tea with it, with the skin. We'll talk about that Nothing later. goes to waste. Nothing <laughs> goes to waste when my mother's cooking. I love that. It really doesn't matter what type of blender you have, so long as you can blend. We are gonna be doing a special tip, and when we do this special tip, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys the difference between uh, watermelon agua fresca and watermelon juice. If you're gonna be using a high-powered uh, blender, which most of us have now, you wanna add some ice cubes, okay? We don't wanna cook our watermelon, we want to blend it. So let's go ahead and add all of our watermelon into our blender. What do you mean by cooking the watermelon in your high speed blender? What I mean is that if you're blending your watermelon in a high speed blender, it's like you're going for a ride in a Viper down the raceway. It's gonna get really, really hot. So we don't want to cook it. We want those natural juices to stay nice and fresh for us. Got it. And okay. the ice is gonna help us keep it fresh. Because you guys have heard how the Vitamix will give you a soup if you put some carrots, a little butter in there and blend it for a period of time. That's what happens. Claude, I got a big old piece for you. Would you like it? I do. Share some with our friends, okay? Oh, I'm dripping juice everywhere. <laughs> mm. Okay, amigos, we're going to start blending. I'm going to start at a low uh, speed and then I'm gonna pick it up and I think I'm gonna blend max 45 seconds to a minute And boom done amigos now it's time to strain friends I highly recommend if you guys don't have a strainer at home that you invest in a strain uh, strainer Make sure to ask uh, for your birthday. I know somebody's gonna say like who who asked for a strainer? You're gonna be asking for a strainer because this comes in handy if you're a kitchen aficionado and you cook all the time. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and strain all of that watermelon that we blended. And I'm going to tell you right now the difference between watermelon juice and watermelon agua fresca is that for the juice, you do not add any water. And now that we've strained our watermelon juice, I'm going to pour it back into a clean blender because it's going to be a lot easier for me to pour into my pitcher. For those of you that don't have thirsty family members or you're just a single person making your watermelon juice, make sure that when you blend everything, you add a little bit of citrus. You can add a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice. I prefer to use lemon juice because it gives it a little bit more of a sweetness and it's more of a preservative. So you'll be able to keep it in your refrigerator uh, three to five days. Okay, amigos, you're gonna ask me, Steph, how do you feel about this new pitcher that you're using? I absolutely love it. I place, I have two of these that fit well in my refrigerator, and um, 
yeah, it's easy to clean. I love it, I love it, I love it. Cloud's linking it for the Amazon storefront. And if you guys are interested in a picture, you can give it a try. To keep the freshness going, go ahead and add a few ice cubes. And boom, done, amigos. I'm gonna share with you guys the jars that I like to use, especially now during summertime, which I've transitioned from the old mason jars. They just don't fit well in my refrigerator anymore. So I transitioned the boys and my family into different little jars that are great for your green juices, your agua frescas, or your watermelon sugar high. Amigos, these are the jars that I am just going, oh, over they're just perfect they're wonderful what i really like is that they come with two types of lids they come with the black one where you can just seal the deal or you can place your straw and these are thick straws so if you end up putting a smoothie in here i'm sure it's going to work just like that it also comes with a little brush to clean your straws which i love and i know you're excited to see that it has the little holes in here like you can make um 12 <laughs> i don't know you can make like around eight juices but amigos, sadly, it only comes with two of these, okay? But make it work. <laughs> and now it's time to pour, pour, pour. It's so light, it's so refreshing. And friends, look at how beautiful and clear that is. That really is watermelon juice. Amigos, and boom, done. That's how we make a refreshing watermelon juice. Make sure, amigos, that when you're in the morning that you hydrate your body, okay? It's gonna get hot outside for all of us. I'm in a humid climate. So before you ingest anything, remember to drink some water and follow it up by some fresh watermelon juice, your agua frescas, keep on that. And we all know that I've been pretty bad for the past three months about drinking soda. So you guys are gonna see more agua frescas on here, which I'm sure that a lot of you are gonna be happy. So let's give this a taste. Say ah. Uh. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Claude and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you, and we want to give a special shout out to one of our serious, loyal Views Club friend. And you guys see him in the comments. His name is Brian Romo. We are going to pin his comment today and make sure you guys cheer him on. He has been here every single day. Um, probably the five years that I've been on here. So thank you, Brian, for being a loyal subscriber, a loyal friend. We absolutely adore you. We love you. Cloud, anything you want to say to Brian? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Oh, it's light, is refreshing. You cannot taste any of the citrus in here. And I can just feel it caressing my insides as it goes down. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. And watermelon, I love because it's just like cucumber. It keeps you full for a long period of time. So whenever you guys want to be snacking, you want to be eating things that you shouldn't, drink a full cup of this, wait 30 minutes, and then if you're still hungry, then go ahead and have your snack. How does that sound? Sounds good Sounds to me. Sounds good? All right. Bye.